matrix I perceive is real. The matrix I perceive is real. It is real and it is real. It's real. This is another pick a card reading. I have a new setup here, and today's pick a card is all about the message from an upgraded version of yourself in a parallel reality. I've never done this type of reading before in this channel, and I'm very excited about it. Okay, so we have three piles of cards. Pile number one, two, and three. Or you can choose one of these images, and feel free to pause this video if you need more time. And usually, the pile or the image that your that caught your attention first would be the right pile. All right. So if you pick the first pile, this is a message for you. You've got the ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Weep. Compassion. And uh, oh, you've got two cards from Starseed Oracle cards: the Great Serving Mars Energy. In baby steps, action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. You've got she wolf unleash the wild within. For tarot cards, you've got the four of pentacles and knight of pentacles. All right. So let me just. Tune in to the spread real quick. This is about the message from an upgraded version of yourself in a parallel reality that can help guide you to become a better version of yourself. Okay, so first and foremost, the different version of yourself in a different reality is very independent. This person is like a go-getter. And a strong Mars energy, the great serving.、Uh, this person is very into service. You know, this is a general reading, but I'm picking up a lot of feminine energy that is masculine. This person is almost like an alpha female, so I'm gonna go with a female figure. And when she sets up her mind, she can go get. Whatever she wants, she takes a methodical steps, take baby steps. A lot of her action is geared towards helping people. This person is financially well off. She's very secure and feel confident in managing her resources. She has been accumulating her wealth through steady effort, but it's not like she's a workaholic though. In the right moment. She is able to stand up for herself. She is very independent and courageous, and when needed, she can she can speak for herself or for people she genuinely care. Even if she comes across as a rebel or kind of too progressive, she is not afraid of it. She doesn't really care of what other People think of her because her mind is set on the target, on the goal. Sometimes she's kind of being critical, and and some other people criticize her, but she doesn't really care. Okay, so perhaps this quality would be something you may need to learn from her. By the way, if you want to deepen this connection, you can meditate. On this figure, you can just daydream about it. You know, the point is to be mentally less rigid and just allow yourself to 
explore and try to connect with the different person in a different reality. You might think that you're making up a story in the beginning. That is perfectly fine because the main point of doing this is to allow yourself to receive information, let loose from your limited thinking habits. And in this way, you can gradually develop psychic abilities. So she's very grounded and she is also a mother of a lot of people. So she is capable of taking care of others on the practical level. Like Four of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles together. It speaks to me that she's almost like a business savvy. She can manage resources pretty wisely. What you can learn from her is the way she streamlines her working process and she just focuses on what she genuinely cares and the service she wants to offer the rest of them is out of focus so this is what makes her very productive and successful on a practical level another thing that i am picking up is she has a keen attention to details She's pretty good at details and she does not follow the steady speed, but she never stops though. It almost feels like uh, she cramps for something to get things done and then kind of take a short break, but she never stops. She never abandon her responsibilities completely. She always takes a baby step. And this is what makes her feel secure in a variety of ways. And to wrap up this reading, I will pull one card. Ooh, you've got the dragonfly. You bring light to this world. Yeah. So... Her action matters. You know, she has a very strong Mars energy. And she learned how to harness the martial energy that can sometimes come across as aggressive. She learned how to manage her anger as well. She uses her passion to bring her vision into action. And you can do the same. You are not this person, but you can be influenced positively by this person. And that is the whole point of doing this reading. So first, make up your mind. Choose what you want. Choose what you want to accomplish. And focus specifically on the people you genuinely care and then go all in but don't forget about details take a baby steps and don't let others get in the way you don't have to please other people and it is okay that some people may criticize you because they are not your primary focus because your focus is bringing compassion to the people you genuinely care and you're very productive you can be very productive and bring bring new beginnings and fresh visions to a lot of people yeah so this is your reading i hope this is helpful and let me know if you resonated with it i'm very curious like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one bye all right, so if you pick the second pile or the second image, this is the message for you. First, you've got the portal. Doors are opening, you decide. Rewards. Wild card. You've got joy and delight. I love it. Open your heart to joy. 
eagle. See from a higher perspective. And you've got the dance. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. The moon. For tarot cards, you've got the lovers and ten of swords in reverse. All right. So let me just tune in to your spread. All right. So if you pick the second pile or the second image, this is the message for you. This is a message from an upgraded version of yourself in a different reality that can help you to become a better version of yourself. First of all, this person is very active, physically active, and this person stays in, the, in pure joy, very intuitive at the same time. I want to say she has a lot of feminine energy and she is a she is very beautiful and oftentimes like she comes across a lot of choices and crossroads in her life and she learned how to let go of her insistence and she went past her own limited belief systems she learned how to surrender and for that reason, she became very wise and able to see a bigger picture like eagle. Eagle is an animal totem that helps us expand our awareness. She's very intuitive and almost like a psychic. And she's like an empath and just like you are tapping into a different version of yourself in a different reality. She is able to do the same thing, but in a mo in much more active way. This is very interesting. The portal, the doors are opening. So she is very good at capturing the right opportunities. She is not just capturing, but creating her own. The reason why she can do that is she completely surrendered her ego. She lives by pure synchronicities therefore she is absolutely in joy open your heart to joy she just follows the highest excitement and in terms of age she's like in her teens she has a very youthful spirit she is in line with her inner self therefore she never sacrifices her unique qualities for anything less than less than her true worth. This is what keeps her stay youthful, not just internally but physically. Physical exercise also plays a pretty significant role. So what you can learn from her to become a better version of yourself, relying more on your gut feeling is gonna help you a lot especially when it comes to making an important decision. Even if it's not about life changing choice, always prioritize your emotion, your inner self. And once you learn how to please your inner child, you would be able to live like her. And curiosity. Be curious of whatever that you haven't fully explored yet and this is this kind of attitude will attract more opportunities to experience something that you never imagined that is so pleasant and fun to wrap up this reading i'm going to pull one more card the elements, oh, okay. The elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful, protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. This card is like the magician in tarot. So with this kind of attitude, you can manifest whatever you want, whatever you need as well. 
you know, your the ability to live in joy indicate that you are really good at managing your own emotion energy as well. So this can help you manifest your visions and you can let the right people come into your life in the right timing and you just hear the right information in the right timing everything is synchronistic i'm picking up a lot of fluidity from this spread so yeah going with the flow and letting your emotion drive your life i'm not talking about the roller coaster type emotional mood swings which i don't feel like uh, the majority of you guys have but i'm talking about your inner voice yeah pay close attention to your inner voice and have fun and be open to the unknown so this is the message from the different person from a different reality parallel reality i hope this is helpful and let me know how you resonate with it and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye all right so if you pick the third pile or the third image this is the message for you you've got the oracle wait for important information you've got the high priestess pretty much very same vibration the light from a unicorn deck oh i love this whale and orca elders share your song frequency of sound diving deep Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Coffin. And Princess of Pentacles, which is the same as uh, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so let me just tune into your spread. All right, so if you pick the third image or third pile, this is a message for you. This is all about the message from an upgraded version of yourself in a parallel reality. So first and foremost, I feel that this person is psychic, very intuitive, and kind of like, kind of taciturn. It's a very interesting word. I've never actually use this word i think quiet and pretty grounded this person is an artist writing song writer artist i feel like this person has a lot of supporters as well like fans and those people who are financially supporting her including her family and friends so she operates herself by joy. It's kind of similar to the group two, but the difference I am picking up is this person is more psychic and intuitive and staying quiet. This person is a lot more introverted and not really sharing a lot. This version of yourself feels much more comfortable expressing through non straightforward medium such as music poem or acting or metaphor this person experienced a lot of ups and downs and massive transformations coffin with the butterfly indicate a lot of transformation so this person is almost like a shapeshifter very adaptable to various changes, various environments. When it comes to making a choice, this person collects all the information and waits for the right moment. And very into studying new topics and subjects. This person is also good at turning knowledge into practical stuff. 
there's some kind of X factor to this person. So as a way of manifesting the visions, this person uses charms, attracts the opportunities. Instead of being like a go-getter, just wait for the right moment while having fun. This is something that you can learn from this connection. And if you want to further explore, you can meditate on this version of yourself. You can start daydreaming or start writing about it. Just allow yourself to drift away into this imagination. Because once you let loose about your mental rigidity, you can start allowing more information to come towards you you can pick up a lot of information this is the way you can start developing psychic abilities if you like so yeah uh this person is very artistic very brilliant creative imaginative yeah a lot of time this person skips definite explanation speaking through silence is another thing that you can learn from this connection to become a better version of yourself and I'm going to pull one more card to wrap up this reading. Safe and happy travel. Protection from harm when journeying. So I feel that it's important that you feel grounded and prioritize your security. Whether it's about emotional security or a practical one. You don't need to expand your territory. Instead of focusing on external growth, but internal one, first you become the queen or king of your internal world. Then you can better find the joy, which improves the ability to enjoy your life, enjoy every single moment of your life. And your connection can play a significant role. Even if it's not about the physical travel, you would be better off by interacting with people from a different background, people from different socioeconomic backgrounds or cultural ones. So allow yourself to explore around different classes or different environments from the one that you were born into originally because this will help you expand the way you can express yourself more effectively. So yeah, have fun exploring and know that you don't have to verbalize any everything. Sometimes silence can be the gem. So this is what I'm getting. Group 3, I hope this is helpful and let me know if you resonated with it. And this was kind of an um, unusual topic that I've done for the pick a card reading. Let me know how you think and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!